Hi, and welcome to another Draw Along video with me, Mart. We've been watching in horror as these forest fires rage across Australia, leaving nothing but death and destruction, as well as a number of human casualties. Lots of animals have also died in the process. An estimated half a billion animals killed and potentially entire species wiped out forever. Obviously, nothing compares to the distress that those directly affected have been experiencing and still are experiencing. But if you're someone that cares about the environment and are watching this happen, you might be feeling a bit distressed yourself. Eco-anxiety is real, and the longer we don't address the climate crisis, the worse it's gonna get. Art has a tremendous ability to heal. Um, just by engaging in something creative, it can really help with your mental health. Picasso once said, the purpose of art is to wash the daily dust off our souls. Now there's a lot of truth in that. So today we're gonna to stand in solidarity with our Australian friends, and we're gonna draw a koala. Um, we're going to be using pastel pencils and working on Canford card. We're going to try and take our minds off the horrors of these disasters and just engage in something creative and hopefully that will help us feel a little bit better. Let's dive straight in. Uh, now usually before I start a piece I take some quite accurate measurements but um, we're not going to do that today, we're just going to try and do it by sight alone. So let's uh, start with just the top of the head here um, and then we're going to just take a line down here, down the middle. This koala's slightly at an angle, um, so we're going to do a very faint line here down to about, let's say, let's say about here. We're just doing very vague lines to get that outline. We can lift it there and there where the ears are going to go. We'll take the nose down to about here and then this is going to be where we're going to put the um, the lip, the lip, the chin, that's what I mean. Uh, just very faint lines at the moment. Um, we're not pressing too hard, remember? We're always trying to keep our hand loose. Here's the top lip. We're just going to do a faint indication of where that might be, and it just it kind of tucks in under the bottom of the nose there. This eye is going to be quite close to the nose, but um, far enough out. So what we're going to do actually is do a, like a very exaggerated um, sort of semicircle here, like that. Um, and then we're going to find the eye in there. Same here, the eye is slightly lower, remember, so very exaggerated much bigger than it would actually be like that. So let's just work our way in. Let's do another one like that. We're going to find that eye eventually. Don't you worry. Make sure that we've got the um, shape of the head correct. So it doesn't quite bulge out as much as that, but um, the ears are going to start about in line with the eye. Now we don't know where that eye is exactly going to be yet, but it's, it's roughly going to be around here. And actually, if you um, take the top of the nose, the ear is going to start just about there. So just a couple of faint lines there just to, to give you an indication. Um, and here it's um, probably in line with the top of the nose. That's our neighbor's dog barking. I'm surprised Jack hasn't responded. He's sleeping in his little basket over there. He had a nice walk just now, so he's probably quite tired. Cheekbones, that's what we're going for, cheekbones. This is going to come around and, and tuck in uh, just underneath the chin, like that. You'll see me doing this a lot, that's um, blending as I go. Um, these pencils are really good for blending. Um, they're so soft, so you can mix colours really nicely. This side is is a little bit bigger than this side, and it is. Just ever so slightly. Just round off that head, like that. And, yeah, is that right for the ear? I think a little bit flatter uh, to the um, quite a flat top. Now I'm just trying to be really loose again to keep that hand flowing all the time, flowing. Let's try and locate those eyes. Okay. 
we're going to take a slightly warmer color flesh here um, and now uh, we've got these indication lines um, we're just gonna just put a little mark there and down here probably around there it's tiny Needs to be a little bit lower this eye, so let's take it down to around there. Now I think that's not looking too bad. One of the things I quite like to do um, with every piece is to get the eyes sketched out um, quite early on, um, because it's just a lot more enjoyable if the animal's looking back at you. Um, so we don't completely render the eyes at this stage, but we're just gonna we're just gonna refine them a little bit. So what we want to do on this side is leave some white at the top there. Let's get rid of that residue. Um, and the pupils with koalas are really interesting. They're quite long and almost diamond shaped, not round like like ours. So we'll just give an indication of where that's going to go. We're going to work on top of that with a darker color later. pupil in roughly about there okay go back to the blue and just get a little bit of definition actually I need to sharpen that the tip wears away pretty quickly um, anyway we're gonna do um, I'm gonna just accentuate the eye socket there so um, this is the edge of the eye socket so it comes around to about there. This side is in the light, so um, we're going to use more of this warm flesh colour, this side of the koala. Um, and to do the eye socket, we're going to use this one as well. So, around like that. And kind of comes around to about there. Okay. And then you can bring, bring that around here. The eye goes up here, um, we're going to refine that with a darker colour later, but um, just for the time being we're, we're still feeling our way around, um, haven't quite settled on exactly how it's going to look. <sighs> Actually, uh, quite fortuitously, this line here uh, is another fold, so we had the yeah, the eye socket there so actually we can now fill fill this in we're just going to use this blue uh, it's just going to work over that outer line still working in this this sort of direction just very loosely uh, don't worry too much about where it's going just sort of feel it yeah. this is going to help make the eyes pop out um, we're darkening around them like this. It needs to possibly come in a bit. Mm. Yeah, it does. Uh, so, yes, I just. Yeah, come in a bit more like that, and then just we can just um, blend that away with our finger like that. Okay. Okay, picked up a new color, terracotta, um, which is what we're going to use for uh, the eye. We're just going to do the outline for now. So let's just go around that um, outline. So like that, um, and up there we're going to leave um, a little bit of white sort of in there um, as the reflection. And then back to the flesh and we can start filling that in. Nice. And we're just going to darken up the 
not with that one. We're going to darken it up with this one, Burnt Umber. This is probably the pencil I get through most of. We're just going to darken up the edges. Okay, and let's go back to the terracotta and I'm just gonna work from the edges inwards. That's not too bad. Um, and you can just take that flesh again if you want um, just to soften up uh, those lines. That's pretty good. Um, and we'll do the same on this one, um, and then we'll get back to working on the head. Wouldn't hurt to put a bit of blue in there. Uh, sharpen it again. So just the, the top of the iris, we're just going to make it slightly lighter with this blue. And I think that's quite a nice effect. Right. So the eyes are looking all right. We can maybe um, just take that burnt umber again and in the corner here, right in the corner of the eye, just darken that up a little bit more. Just the outline, like that. Right, now I think it might be nice to work on the nose a bit more. So take that line, define it a little bit more now that we've got that um, guideline down so again working out like that outwards um, and yeah, just to try and get that dome effect okay let's work some blue into this side like that to about there um, let's think about where the, the light patches are. Um, the side again is, is darker, so um, there's not going to be as many light patches. Yeah, we want to get these nostrils sketched out. So um, from about there, we're going to swing it round, swing it round, round to about there. Yeah, that's that'd be one nostril, and then um, in line with that invisible line that was now disappearing. Um, do the same like this. And yeah, almost joins up with the edge here. This, this is gonna be a bit lighter. So just to um, indicate that, let's put a bit more blue down there. Okay, I'm going to just take that up. Um, keep on going with this nostril, so it kind of uh, kind of goes, kind of comes back in here, like that. Put a little bit of pink right there. Get these lovely pink chins. Um, but not too much for now. <laughs> Leave it like that. Good. Do you know what? I think this could benefit from just being slightly bigger, bigger chin. Let's just get rid of that. It's my fingers. And back to the blue. And we're just gonna do this. Um, just making that slightly, slightly bigger. Get rid of that line. You can use an eraser if you want. I just, this doesn't matter so much for now. So I'm just using my fingers. Um, as the lip kind of comes round. Um, it kind of comes back in on itself here. So this is going to be quite dark. So we can put a, put that blue in there just to um, accentuate the uh, chin. 
Yeah. Inside the nostril, you've got some more of that uh, pinky flesh colour. So let's work some in there and put some in on this side as well. Just like that. And then we are going to pick up that lovely indigo colour. And um, we are now going to just refine these lines. Um, it's a very dark line here as it kind of turns in on itself. This side is slightly darker, so I think um, let's, yeah, there's two do not quite go to the edge there. So bring that line round and then take in a gray. I'm just gonna do the outline. Just slightly darker. Yes, that looks good. Great. Um, you can tell I'm just working it out as I go along. I haven't done any planning on this piece at all. I uh, just wanted to dive right in. Um, okay. Nice. Now, still holding that grey. Um, it's, uh, it's aluminum grey or aluminium, depending on where you reside. I say aluminium, uh, but each their own, potato, potato. Yeah. Okay, going back to the nose, um, we want to create that bulbous look a bit more, so we're going to just add a little bit more blue into it, bring that blue round. Um, it's uh, you're going to leave um, a, a little band along uh, all the way along this part here um, and um, keep that curve there to about halfway and then just take it up there like that. Now indigo again indigo again and here we go again indigo again just darkening up that that line remember this is it's kind of coming in on itself the nose it's sort of bending down towards the lips so um nice and dark you can just smooth everything off with your finger i tend to just dab it down um like i said it's very soft so the residue kind of sits up you can just get it into the paper now take that gray that's not gray let us now take that gray um, and just put in a little bit of texture here now um, here we're, we're just we're not doing straight lines um, solid lines we're just kind of actually very loosely dabbing around and we're going to work some of that flesh in between those little gray bits as well um, just to warm up that side. And then you're just going to keep doing that all around the face. Soften those lines a little bit. Uh, they're a bit, uh, a bit sharp at the moment. Let's take that flesh again and sort of do the same really. Um, along this line here, so it kind of comes down past the nose just slightly, uh, like that. Um, and then, yeah, under the eye there's gonna be a lot more of that pink. Maybe just a bit here, up here as well. Let's do the ears, this side. Um, we're going to do the ears very loosely. We're not going to worry too much. It's kind of come out to about there, just up and down like this, and then um, they 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 come round to about here, and then they've got a big tufty fur bit there, 
Um, so the bottom of the ear is just going to be just kind of just above the eye, really, there. Uh, maybe a little bit higher, like that. I've probably taken it a bit too far out, so let's just bring that back. Um, and you know, maybe it needs to be, you know what, the top of the head is going to be up here. So, yeah, we're going to just extend that ear up the top there. A bit darker around here like this. Um, let's check the other side, yeah. Very loose. The nice thing with fur is it's quite chaotic, isn't it? Like it's all over the place. So you can you can mirror that with the way you draw it. Here we go. It's uh, looking all right. Now we can just start um, refining some of the outlines. So top of the nose, um, <clears throat> around the bottom of the nose, the uh, chin. Um, and then work more pastel into the whole head area um, just to sort of bring it out some more. But that's a good start as a base layer, what you've got right there. What I'd like to do now is just work a bit more on the nose, um, work on refining that detail. Um, so there's a little bit of patterning that goes on inside the nose. Um, and before going straight to the dark, I like to just have a base layer put in. So we're going to use this powder blue again, and um, we're just going to work in some of this texture here, uh, which we're then going to go over with a darker color, but um, it's just a little bit <sighs> jarring if you have, if you just go straight in with the dark. Um, it is time consuming. Um, but you get better results if you've, if you've got a base layer. Um, so that's what we're going to do here, and we're going to do it on the same on the other side as well. But then we can take uh, a darker blue, the indigo again, and just start going over what we've just put down. Yeah, just having that having that base layer there means that the dark pigment from this color is kind of blending in with the lighter blue beneath because um, that pigment is still loose we haven't fixed it or anything um, and it's just a little less jarring This nose, it looks like it's floating a bit, so let's uh, anchor it right in. Um, and we're gonna do that by uh, creating the, the outline of where the fur comes in over the top of the nose up here. So right in the center there, um, that's where it's uh, most apparent kind of vertical lines really downwards gently touching down as you go round just to define that nose um, back up and then just again on this side um, Yeah, nice. Take that blue again. I might need to find another color here. But let's just work some more of that powder blue in. And here we're pressing a little bit harder. Uh, we don't want it as faint. We want to, we want to create um, more definition on this side. And I think what we'll do is we'll take the flesh again and 
I'll work some of that into into this side, but again, just hardly touching the page, really, just gently, gently brushing the surface. You darken this side up a little bit more so we get that indigo again. I keep saying that now, indigo again. Sounds nice to say. Okay, I think we're going to spend a little bit of time refining the fur just around this region here. Um, so take that grey again, and we're just going to darken everything up a little bit. Um, remember, leave the leave that um, band around the eye there, and kind of work work in this direction. And the fur sort of goes like that way, and as you come closer, it sort of creeps towards the center, so like this. Try and keep that in mind as you get here, start turning the pencil a little bit so that you're almost facing up that, that line that we had at the beginning. Just enjoy this, this time with the pencils. I've been trying to think about what it is about drawing that is that feels so good. Um, there's multiple things. One is just that feeling of the pencil hitting the page and that sound. Uh, that's just very satisfying. And you could just do this for hours. The other thing is um, the focus. You're really focused on the task. You're not, not thinking about anything else. Certainly not picking up your phone. Checking Instagram, see who's posted the best sandwich of the day. Uh, you're totally focused and just in the zone and just enjoying a little bit of time to yourself. It's really important, I think, to take time to yourself and uh, recharge the batteries. Yeah, it's just problem solving, really. That's, that's the other thing, I think, is... Uh, working things out for yourself um, and then seeing the results, I think that's a very satisfying feeling too. As you go towards the cheeks, it's kind of further back in the distance. This is, this is the area that's really in focus. Um, the nose right here, probably there, this little bump here is probably the the closest bit to us. Um, so we're probably going to have the most detail in the nose. We're just going to keep going around the head with this grey um, and just keep adding a little bit more detail and slowly, slowly build it up. We had that, that bottom eyelid here. Um, we can just darken that up a little bit more. So let's bring it round. Yeah, nice. Just make that a little bit darker as it comes round. On the edge there. Remember we extended the chin out a bit um, just to make it look a bit bigger. Uh, so I'm going to put another blue line in there like that and then um, put a little bit more blue down here but we're going to then go over it with that um, flesh colour and hopefully that's going to turn it purple. This 
see how much residue comes off. It's left on the page. I'm forever blowing. <sighs> Got into the habit of uh, just making sure my <laughs> mouth is nice and dry before I blow, because I have in the past spat all over a piece, <laughs> and that's ruined it. Uh, so I don't make that mistake anymore. <laughs> now here's a colour we haven't used yet, Burnt Carmine. This is nice, it's kind of a carmine-y colour. <laughs> um, it's sort of quite a nice, warm, dark colour to use. So that's not too much of an oxymoron. Um, I'm just going to use it to just define the, the edge of the nose and where the lip goes and goes in. And we're going to use the same burnt carmine just to darken this area here in the nostril. Very faintly touching the page. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, so we haven't used a very vast color palette. We're only using five or six pencils. Um, and that's pretty much getting the job done. Now that we've got quite a lot of pigment down there, um, it's harder to define lines um, because the pigment is still very is still all very loose, um, so it might just be worth spraying it, uh, lock all that in place, um, and then we can continue working on top of it. So I suppose we're kind of getting towards the the end of the base layer now, um, and then um, on top of that, you'll keep just building it up, basically like we've been doing already. So I might make that a time lapse because we've already been going about a couple of hours. But there you go, already uh, you've got a nice looking koala um, who is just starting to emerge from the page. Ugh. What did I say about not pressing too hard? Naughty.